is different than any other preposition because at doesn't relate to, just gives your location. If you visit any of these shops and someone talks about your location, they will have to say you are, for example, you are at Crimavel or you are at Auto Camp or you are at the bank, you are at the church, any other place you visit, you will be at the place. So, can I say I am at the kitchen? No, you cannot. You are at home, you are at your house. Kitchen is like a box. You are contained in a box. Pretty much like your food would be contained in the microwave. You are contained in the kitchen. You can be at any of these places, but you cannot be at a room because a room contains you. You are in a room at the place. If you are contained with walls, you are in. Right now I am in the alley. Also, if you are in a very big place, you cannot be at. You cannot be at a city, at a neighborhood, at a desert. It's, it's, it's impossible because you are contained, because you are inside. You must be inside a city, inside a neighborhood. So some places you can be in and you can be at. Like this parking lot, for example. My car is in this parking lot, but this mat works at the parking lot. The same thing for a swimming pool. I am at the swimming pool. It's winter, I cannot go in the swimming pool, but I can be at the swimming pool. The movie theater is in the mall or at the mall. And I am at the movie theater. Now I am in the movie theater. See the difference? At the movie theater and in the movie theater. If I say I am at home, I'm not giving you my position in relation to this house or apartment. I'm just giving you my location. I am at home. Here, I am at the supermarket. And here, or here, and here I would also be at the supermarket. Because at gives you a reference to my location, the supermarket, and not my position in relation to the supermarket. That is a job for other prepositions. Think of a table, for example. If I sit here, I am sitting on the table because I am having this contact with the table. But how about now? I am not on the table. I'm definitely not in the table. The K is on the table, under the table, by the table, above the table. But I am at the table because I am giving you a reference to my location at the table, not my position in relation to the table. Here I am at the door. This is my location. I am at the door. I could also give you my position in reference to the door. I could say I am behind the door or in front of the door, depending on the reference. I could say my hand is on the door. I could say I am in the door. Maybe not. But I say I am at the door because I just want to give you my location at the door. I am writing on the page if the page is my reference because my words are in contact with the page. But now I am going to write my name at the top of the page, at the top of the page, because that is the location of my name on the page. That is a really beautiful afternoon. I am here looking out the window. I see people coming from work. It's beautiful today, sunny. I am looking at the camera now. I was looking out the window. That means that I gave you the window as a reference to my sight, my vision. 
You don't know where I was looking at, but it was out the window. Now I am looking at the camera. It seems like I am looking at you, but I am looking at the camera. That is the location of my sight, the location of my vision. So it's very simple. If you want to give a reference from one thing to another, then you have to use another preposition. Then you have to say soap on my hand, you have to say the car behind, you have to say the products in the box, or the man under the table. At is different. You're gonna use at only when you want to give a location. That's it. But how about when you say, for example, at 100 kilometers an hour. What is the location? Now, whenever you have a line and you have this line separated in parts, and this can be many things. It can be a thermometer, it can be a scale, it can be your speed, temperature, rotation, many things. So if you have this line and you want to talk about one point, you use at. At is the preposition that establishes this point. For example, you can say at 50 degrees, you can say at 5 o'clock, you can say at 100 RPM. Okay, so now you understand that at is the preposition you use when you want to set your location not your position in reference to the place. Okay, so how about time? When do you use at as a preposition of time? And that's not difficult, it's very simple. You use at to establish one point in time. Just don't confuse this with a period. It's only one point in time. Like for example, oh, at the moment when she punches me. <laughs> 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 that, that was not a period, was one moment when she punched me. At 9.49 and 30 seconds. 9.49 and 30 seconds is a point in time. And any other time on the clock is also a point in time. So we use at for any time on the clock. Let's see some examples using the movie Hunger Games and also some moments from the life of Drew Barry. Barry Moore. She becomes desperate at the moment when he was punched. So, in this scene, there is a calm girl looking at her friend through the glass. She's okay, she's calm, she's not desperate. And then she sees something, something strange. And now he's punched, like me. And she becomes desperate. At this moment, at this point in time, she becomes desperate. So, there is before she became desperate. There is after she became desperate. And at this point in time, pa, pa, she becomes desperate. One point in time. Okay, let's see another example now. She jumps at the moment of the shot. In this other example, she'll jump at zero, represented by the shot. This is also a point in time, it is not a period. That's why she jumps at zero, at the shots. She stands by at three, two, one. She swims after the jump, but she jumps at the moment of the shot. Before the shot, after the shot, and at the moment of the shot. That's where she jumps. Drew Barrymore at different moments of her life. Different moments, not period. Like in 1982, at the age of six, she played a role in E.T., the extraterrestrial. She was very famous. Now, at the age of 20, at the age of 20, she was very beautiful in Batman. And then, this is at the age of 25, when she was playing a role 
uh, Charlie's Angel, and now at the age of 34, she's playing an Adam Sadler movie. So at the age at the age of six, at the age of 20, at the age of 25, and at the age of 34. Not periods. At moment of her life. So there is really this one thing you have to remember when you use at as a preposition of time. Is that at relates to one point in time. Not a period. One point in time. That is all you have to remember. Nothing else. Okay, that's the lesson. Now, let's take a test and see if you really understand it. This is what I would like you to do. I will show you some sentences and I want you to think if, you, if they are true or false mentally, okay? There are 12. If you get like 10, you're the best. So just think mentally. Is it true or false? Let's go. The first one. I am at the entrance. What do you think? True or false? True. Of course, entrance is a location. It's not your position in relation to anything. It's your location. So yes, true. Number two. I'll visit you at your birthday. What do you think? False. Birthday is one day. Not a moment, not a point in time, but one day. Use on for days. Next. Let's meet at 6 o'clock. What do you think? True. Always use at for time on the clock. Correct. Next. Come at my house. False. Don't use at with verbs that imply movement. Next. He was born at July. False. No, no, no. At July? No. July is a month, not a point in time. Use in for months. Let's go to the next one. We met at Christmas Day. False again. Christmas Day is a day. Use on for days. Use at for at Christmas. On for on Christmas Day. Next. Are you going home at night? Yes. True. At night is correct. Next. I'll see you at the end of the week. Yes. True again. It's a point in time. At the end of the weekend is a point in time. Next. Let's wait at the elevator. Yes, true again. Your location, not your position. If you say wait in the elevator, I understand something different. So yes, wait at the elevator. Next. I love to go to the mall at Christmas time. Yeah, the grammar is true. Christmas time. Christmas time is a point in time. Grammar is correct, but you love going to the mall at Christmas time? What? All right, uh, next one. I went at the hospital. Now, false. Went implies movement. Use went to the hospital. There is a movement. Never use at with movement. I'll see you at our next class. That is true again. That is the moment in time when I will see you at Medford. And I cannot wait to see you. So, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, if you like, please subscribe. There will be more. Click here and subscribe to the video. Uh, also, click here. If you want uh, a video for on and in, and if you are a student and this is a homework for you, there is a PDF here. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate your attention and I'll see you at Medford.
take a look at some prepositions. Today we're gonna look at, at so that's the third part for the second part in, of the explanation for in, on in and, and at. On. 